My ideal guy, I think, for me, would be somebody that's kind of sweet and nice and that loves me a lot. like to see through him all over again. You're weak and people take advantage and you try to get love and you bow and scrape and all they do is spit on you. They, they, they understand the game you play and they play it better. If I invite you to the prom and you look at me and say nothing, that silence that you're giving to me is a very powerful communication. Welcome to the sexual love fest of I'm okay, you're not so okay. And you have good sex. And we're like, well, I think we do. And you have good sex. Like, well, I think we do. Well, I think we do. Controlling silence from Kevin indicates that the sex is something less than that in his eyes. We have good sex, and we're like, well, I think we do. It's a degrading for her. We have good sex, like, well, I think we do. She seemed very young. Speaking openly concerning the quality of one's sex life with the lover present is not something normally or ever shared by a celebrity on camera in front of potentially millions of viewers. Am I supposed to jump like a dog for your approval? In our culture it's considered loving or simply good form for the male to express his delight in being the recipient of the female's charms. We have good sex, and we're like, well, I think we do. When I get people that come in that really want to be like treated like crap, and they really want to know that they're not, not important, not important. What happens is that the person who has a low opinion of himself develops a relatively suave way, suave way of manifesting, if not inferiority to significant other people, at least such blatant hints of inferiority that he becomes more or less an object of philanthropic concern on the part of the other person. Why do you feel great? The sex is great. But the sex is really good. <laughs> what is great? The kisses are really good. But the sex is really good. <laughs> is that all that it is? That all that it is. Is that all that it is? I used to be a cool chick. As much aggression as I have in me that I've been holding back. Come on. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to do that. He ended up putting me up with a lot, and then we ended up having an argument. It scared me so bad I thought he was gonna leave. I'll do whatever you want, okay? Okay? 
I'll do whatever you want, okay? Okay? Walked in and said bye. That's all I said. I'll do whatever you want, okay? Okay? He ended up putting me up with a lot, and then we ended up having an argument. It scared me so bad I thought he was gonna leave. The fire starts. It is very hard to put out. The tender boughs of innocence burn first, and the wind rises, and then all goodness is in jeopardy. As I have noted briefly before, these situations may be accompanied either by such fascination, such such fascination. that the person, despite dreadful feelings, cannot seem to avoid being entangled with this unpleasant person who has taken advantage of him. People devour people. They degrade them. They live off their failing. They set them up to fail. Even when they praise you, they're setting you up to come down for that praise and to become dependent upon a certain form of slavery to that sense of worth that comes from praise, which is worthless. You're weak and people take advantage and you try to get love and you bow and scrape and all they do is spit on you. They, they, they understand the game you play and they play it better. I'd like to see through him all over again. Oh, I am